in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, we'll be learning to make this Thanos snap disintegration effect and we'll be doing that in a very simple and easy way. So, I already have a video on my project. Let me show you what we'll have to do first. We'll have to shoot a video something like this. Make sure you place your camera on a tripod and act something like this. Enter into the scene. Then hold on for a moment. Something like this. And then also ensure to have a clean plate of the background that we'll be using for our effect. So let me drag the background layer first to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. And the next thing is to add the video onto the top. Let me extend the background until the end. And as soon as the character stops for a while at this point and whenever you want to start the disintegration effect to happen, click on the razor tool and cut the video, that portion, exactly here. So we'll be using this particular portion to generate the effect. So to select the video and from opacity, you have this option called, you know, free draw bezier tool. This is also called as a pen tool. So let me click on that. And we'll start masking the clip. It doesn't have to be really very perfect, but an outline would do good. Alright, once this is done, I'll change the mask feather to zero. Alright. And if I remove the background, you can see that this is how the mask is. And I'll go to the FX panel and type in linear linear wipe. So you have this linear wipe effect in the transition folder. And I'll drag this onto the clip that we have here. Let me scroll down and I'll change the wipe angle to 270 degrees because we want it to start from right to left. Click on the timer button here for transition completion. Make sure at the first frame of this clip, go around two seconds forward and change the transition completion to 100. So if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the wipe looks like. However, this is quite sharp. So I'll increase the feather in such a way that the edges are quite smooth. This is fine. Let me click on this I button so that you can see the background as well. So if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the character is vanishing. Alright. The next thing is to add the disintegration overlay. So I already have a disintegration overlay that I downloaded from Production Crate. So Production Crate is an amazing website wherein you can download a lot of content for free. All you have to do is go to the link in the description and register in the website. Once you do that, simply type in disintegration and you can see that there are a lot of disintegration overlays. Majority of the ones are free here. So let me click on this button so that we can get access to the free content. In this case, I downloaded this disintegration dust collapsing one click on this button and you can download it right away once you have it inside your project simply drag this onto the top of our clip all right let me play the video you can see that this is how it is looking on our clip let me scale this just a bit so as soon as the transition is happening we'll have to place the disintegration effect exactly at that particular frame can see that disintegration has starting and looks something like this however you can simply trim this down just a bit and move it accordingly make sure you click on this position button make sure you are at this frame and after a couple of frames you can simply move this towards the left just like this so that it will overlap let me also scale this just a bit so if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the disintegration is happening. However, it is appearing a little early. You'll just have to fix the timing. Yeah, this looks good. If I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the disintegration looks like. And that is exactly what we need. Adobe Premiere Pro is all about creativity. You can use different overlays and generate cool effects for your projects. In addition to this, you can also make use of different dissolved transitions onto the top of the overlay in order to make it look good. 
I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and see you guys next time with another tutorial.